Welcome to Scott Slasher World. This week, I'm gonna be showing a ton of new Sega Genesis pickups, Super Nintendo pickups, and a few vinyl. First up this week from Welcome Back Collectibles, I picked up the classic Sega Genesis game, Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. Genesis Who does the world's most fun cartoon character in a hot new 16-bit game? Genesis who does Disney animation as only a 16-bit video game can? Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does. Genesis does. Who gives you $30 cash back when you buy a new Sega Genesis system? Genesis does. Buy a Sega Genesis system now and get $30 cash back. I'm glad I picked this game up. This is actually the first time I had ever played Castle of Illusion. And anybody that I ever talked to when I was telling them, you know, I've been collecting Sega Genesis games, one of the games they always would bring up is Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. And they're not wrong, man. This is a great platformer. Um, beautiful copy that I picked up, by the way. Thank you, welcome back collectibles. Look at this, complete with the manual. Very, very pretty. Love this game, super fun, and I can't wait to beat it. My next Sega Genesis pickup this week also came from Welcome Back Collectibles, and it's another classic. It's Quackshot, starring Donald Duck. Absolutely Sega Genesis. Quackshot, starring Donald Duck. Sega Genesis. Streets of Rage. Sega Genesis. Go with Quackshot, Streets of Rage, just two hot names of the games, games, games. Sega Genesis system and games sold separately. This was another first time play for me and I love this game as well. I picked this one up about three weeks ago from Welcome Back and I'd been playing this non-stop until I got Castle of Illusion. This is a real fun game and I have not beat it just yet, but um, yeah, I love the way you jump from place to place and you gotta get certain items to further your you know progress in different stages and you gotta go back. like. Huey, Dewey, and Louie come and pick you up in an airplane and you get to fly back to different, you know, different areas of the map. Really fun game and I highly recommend Quackshot starring Donald Duck. Next up this week is Time Slip on the Super Nintendo. You know, no one ever talks about Time Slip. This is a really fun game uh, that kind of feels like a Contra game almost, except you can get hit multiple times without dying. But I really love like the enemies in this. The, they've got some really cool sprites. I love the sound. Um, I don't know. Nobody talks about Time Slip, and I don't know why that is, but I'm really having fun playing it. I also picked up a childhood favorite of mine on the Sega Genesis, and that was NHL 94. Ready. A goalie stones you cold all night. Hey. All of a sudden you catch a pass on the tape, hey. and you turn the stone wall into a sieve. NHL 94 for Sega Genesis and Super NES. One timer, cold streak, oh yeah, hot streak. If it's in the game, EA Sports, it's in the game. My cousin Adam owned this game back in the day, so anytime my other cousin Danny and I were over there, we take turns playing. One of the funnest things about this was that if you hit the uh, opposing team the right way, your two guys would like face off on the rink. So you'd just start like have a boxing match during the middle of this hockey game, which really added to the charm. Um, I love this one. The next game, they made it like nice and faster, but they took away the fighting in 95, so I didn't like it as much. I think they brought the fighting back in 96. But as you can see, this is a complete copy with the manual. Love this game. I have so many fond memories of playing this as a kid. 
Next up this week is a game I actually already owned, but I didn't have the manual, so I went ahead and just picked it up. So now I have an extra copy of Batman Returns on the Sega Genesis. You know, I haven't really played this game that much. Uh, I got a copy from, I believe, Game Junkies, uh, but it didn't have the book. And then I found a really nice, clean copy at Welcome Back with the manual. So I just picked it up. Uh, so I'll probably trade uh, the other copy, but I'm just glad to have a full copy of it. I just love the box art. Uh, I need to play this more. Um, I need to get into it. Uh, it's a tough game what I remember, but uh, yeah. Very cool to add a complete copy of Batman Returns on the Sega Genesis to my collection. Before I show off some more game pickups, I'm going to go ahead and show off two new vinyl pickups. And the first came from Welcome Back Collectibles, and it's Alice Cooper's Trash. Love this album. One of his great albums of the 80s has the uh, hit song Poison, among others. You got Spark in the Dark, House of Fire, Bed of Nails, Trash. I'm Your Gun. These are all great songs. And uh, now I have 12 full length Al Alice Cooper albums uh, on vinyl. So it's, it's getting close. He's got 29 full length albums, uh, not including like greatest hits or um, live. So I've got 12 out of the 29. I'm getting closer, but really thrilled to add this album to the collection. And my next vinyl pickup came from Spookables and I love this album. It is Neck Deep's Life's Not Out To Get You. Uh, if you've never listened to this and you like punk music, listen to this. Uh, this is so good. Love the art on this. This one opens up like so. Bam, look how sweet that is. I love this. And look at the, the vinyl on this is beautiful. It's a sweet blue. Oh man, look how pretty that is. Love this. Um, favorite song is definitely Kalima, but uh, these are all awesome. Uh, Can't Kick Up the Roots, Gold Steps, Serpents, December. Every track, all 12 tracks on this, are, they, they're all amazing. Highly recommend listening to Neck Deep's Life's Not Out to Get You. I also have two new VHS pickups to show off this week. Both of these came from Welcome Back Collectibles and I got it during their Memorial Day sale. It was buy one, get one free. The first one I've never watched before. I've never seen it. It's called The Chair. Look how cool this is. Uh, it looks like uh, Shocker or the horror show. Kind of came out around that time. And uh, I don't know, I've never seen it and I'm really excited to put this one in the player. And uh, the second VHS I got, you know, I've got on Blu-ray, but I really have been just trying to collect all these full moon uh, VHSs. I love the, just everything about these full moon VHSs. It just, they're so pretty. I love the full moon logo, the Paramount logo, the R, the video zones. I don't know, I'm gonna collect all the full moon VHS I can, and uh, I'm just happy to add Puppet Masters 3 to my collection. I uh, now have Puppet Master 2 and 3 on VHS. Also picked up Super Metroid on the SNES from the Colt Shop. Before Nintendo came out with Super Metroid, we wanted to make sure it was the most intense Metroid battle ever. So we thought we'd see how Killer here would fare against it. Ready, boy? That's 24 megs worth of weapons, worlds, and weirdos old killers up against Nintendo's biggest game ever. He's a big boy. He can handle it. Well, let's see how he did. Ship it! Super Metroid, only on the Super NES. This was a highly recommended Super Nintendo game. Everybody was saying on, you know, online, this is a great game to play. And it is fun, but they didn't really mention how difficult it is. It is very, very hard um, to kind of figure out what to do next. 
So I did go to YouTube and look at some Let's Plays to uh, you know figure out how to progress. I look forward to getting further in the game and um, yeah, like I said, fun game, but it's gonna be kind of hard. Last week I showed off a Sega Genesis pickup from Retro Reset Video Games and Collectibles. It was Taz in Escape from Mars. Really love that game. And while I was at Welcome Back Collectibles, I found the first one. I found Tasmania on the Sega Genesis. Electricity? Careful there. Ha! Or it'll toast your eyeballs. Now I'll pop this one in really quick so I haven't had enough time to really play it. Uh, so far it looks to be a pretty fun game, but I think I'm gonna like Taz and Escape from Mars a little better. But I think this is a fun game. I like that the, the mechanics are the same. So um, I look forward to like progressing further in this one. I also picked up Spider-Man for the Super Nintendo from Welcome Back Collectibles. No need to panic. Could be critical. The odds are against you. Spider-Man faces 20 supervillains so powerful even with the Fantastic Four. His number may be up. Marvel Spider-Man, the video game from Acclaim. I haven't even had a chance to put this one in yet, so I don't really have any frame of reference. I look forward to playing it, and uh, you know I have a, a lot of the Spider-Man games on uh, Sega Genesis, and I do have Spider-Man and the X-Men on uh, Super, so I look forward to playing this one. I, I like almost all the Spider-Man games. And the last Sega Genesis pickup this week that also came from Welcome Back Collectibles is Outrun 2019. I threw this one in and played about 10 minutes of it, and uh, I'm digging the music and uh, I'm digging the play. It seems to be a really fun outrun game that's all for this week in front of the camera uh, stay tuned to the end of the video because i'm gonna show off a few items my wife got me and i'm gonna show off a couple more of the star trek figures that my cousin adam gave to me uh, but before i go though be sure to help me grow this channel by leaving me a comment by liking subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you never miss a video Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. So first up, I'm gonna show off a few toys my wife picked up for me at Goodwill. She found these two Animaniacs toys, which I love the Animaniacs. It's such a great cartoon. Um, she found a little Spider-Man. They all came grouped together in like a big toy, like a big old batch of toys for like three or four bucks. Um, and I just kind of picked a few that I liked. Uh, there was Spider-Man, uh, a couple Ninja Turtles were in there. We got uh, Raphael and Donatello. Raphael's shell opens up. And Donatello's bow, you can pew, 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 look at that. Oh, very cool. And then the last thing that I kept out of the batch was this little guy. And I need to take a picture of him and put him in Google search because I don't even know what he's from, but he looks cool. He's got like a compass uh, on his stomach. I think this is from 2006 McDonald's. So that's what I know without putting it in Google. But if you know what this is from, let me know. I just think it looks cool. And I'm gonna show off, uh, here's two Star Trek figures that my cousin Adam gave me. We've got the Borg, very cool figure. I like the way he looks. And then let's see, the last one is Romulan from Star Trek, The Next Generation. Very cool, and um, once he, he said he's got a whole other box of these, I'll probably do a video where I just show all of them off. Uh, it'll be fun to, for me to go through because I do, you know, like Star Trek, and I've watched the movies and a few of the shows, but some of the character names, I don't know, so you're going to hear me mispronounce a lot of, a lot of character names, but we can get through it together. Uh, so like I said, help me grow this channel by uh, leaving me a comment and uh, by liking the video. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. I'll see everybody next week.